This is the Simulation Football League on the SFL Twitch Network. The DC Dragons originally entered the league in Season 5, won a championship, then bowed out after Season 7. The following season, Florida entered the league and built a dynasty at the turn of the Progression Era. The two dynasties collide for the first time ever here in the dungeon of the Dakaris Coliseum. Hello everyone, I'm Tyler Falk. With me up here in the calendar box today is none other than the owner of the Lone Star Glory, Charles Duckerty. Charles, it's a glorious day for football. <laughs> it is indeed. I'm so happy to be here. A home game in Washington, D.C. I just, I grew up right over the river, about 15 miles from here in Fairfax, Virginia, so it's good for me to be home as well. But uh, Florida is always a tough team. They're veterans. Uh, they're great on the road. They're great at home. And D.C. is looking to expand that magic they had last week. Uh, traveling into Denton and beating Lone Star, but uh, they're hoping to get their first win here at home. My wishes for today's game on the Florida offense, quarterback Ron Cochran needs 155 yards to hit 31,000 career passing yards. On the Florida D, I'm hoping strong safety Andrew uh, Francis gets his first interception of the season so that every starter in the backfield will get at least one interception so far for the season. On the D.C. side, quarterback Shabazz Synergy needs to be on the right side of the pass-interception ratio. Last week, he threw three touchdowns, two interceptions. Hope he continues that trend today. And last, on the D.C. defense, only one of seven teams in the SFL yet to score a TD on defense. I hope that changes today. This is going to be a great game. Buckle up for a fun ride. Let's kick this thing off. And so we'll see the D.C. Dragons kick it away. The Florida going right to left across your screen. And here we go, we have kickoff in Washington, D.C. Turn starts at about the seven. Good return all the way back up here to the 26 yard line. And that is where Ron Cochran and the Florida Storm offense will come out and start their first drive of the ball game. Yeah, I'm, I, it's always exciting watching uh, Ron Cochran play, uh, play football here in the SFL. He's a cagey veteran. I, I call him the surgeon. Uh, I hope he, uh, he shows his talents today. They'll go under center here on first down. Four wide receivers with trips near side of the formation. Lay action to Charlie Boletsky, the tailback. Nice little out routes there to the far side. And we're going to see them go right into the hustle up offense. Going right back under center is Ron Cochran here in second and eight. Same play. Play action. Out route's gone this time. This pass over the middle's caught. It's back-to-back -back completions for the Surgeon, and they're already into D.C. territory. Good start here from the Storm. Yes, I think it's smart going hurry up here. Rocker take a little bit more time here this time around to get back up to center. They'll run the same play for the third time around. This time it's an underneath route, underneath the defense, and it'll pick up another first down. Yeah, the DC defense is on their heels here. They're, they they got to stop, got to stop this uh, hurry up quick. Fourth play, fourth play in a row. Out route again. This time is dropped there on the far side by Stephen Bush. But a good series of plays sees the Florida offense all the way down in DC territory. And now the rest of the Florida Storm offense shapes out like this. Ron Cochran's under center with the rookie running back, Charlie Boletsky, with the fullback, J.W. Doyle, at that spot with Stephen Bush, Jeff Como, and EJ Minson at wide receivers, and Varden Zarkov at tight end. We cannot forget about the center, Joseph Wade, and the tackle, Greg McDonaldson. And uh, Boletsky up the middle and the bullet, able to pick up seven yards. One thing I'm looking for here in this one here, Charles, is the two rookie running backs on either side of the ball. Charlie Boletsky for the Florida Storm, and Kevin Say for DC. Yeah, both of them have shown a lot of talent, and. Uh... You know me, I love it when they get the the, uh, the running backs involved in the game, either by either in the air or on the ground. Offset eye here on third and short. Quick drop, it's a dump off for Boletsky on the far side. He's unable to spin away, taken down right at the line of scrimmage. The coverage was superb, and we'll see the kicking unit. Yeah, good stand there by D.C. Uh, I think it was smart. Florida came up and uh, had to hurry up, but uh, D.C. had that nice uh, – it looked like that was a, a, a pass deflection by Guger a couple a couple plays back, slowed it down. They were able to settle in, and now they got the ball after this field goal attempt. 45-yard try for Ethan Sneed. He's been perfect on the year. Had a 53-yarder last week. Snap spot. Kick is up, and it is good. He remains perfect on the year, and it's 3-0 Storm. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a small small victory for uh, D.C. to keep them up to only three points. Again, they uh, dug their heels in as Florida was approaching the red zone. And uh, I'm excited to see what Shabazz does on the other side when he gets the ball. Again, coming off a very strong week last week. We'll talk more about Shabazz Synergy as we get to his first drive here. But for now, the kickoff will come from Ethan Sneed. It'll be Kanye Rockefeller there to receive the football starts the return in his own end zone cuts up field to maybe at the 20 trying to work it further to the outside spins away from one and picks up a couple more yards that was a fantastic return there from Rockefeller yeah sets up the offense in good field position now uh as I said Shabazz Synergy is going to come out there with uh you know not not too deep back by their end zone and has a lot of field to work with definitely a lot of people here on the SFL Twitch chat saying they would love to see Kevin say run the football again. Had a great game last week, over 180 yards. We'll see if he can do the same thing here today. He'll get the call here on first down. Has a good little hole near side. And he's off to the races, fighting off two defenders. And he gets into Florida territory on the first play from scrimmage. In a sweet play by uh, DC. They caught uh, Florida. I think Florida was maybe expecting a swing pass. And they had some great blocking up front. Say just took took it through the right gap and hit that extra level of speed when he got past that offensive line. Fantastic blocking from the offensive line, able to spring him free. Now they're set up at the 44-yard line of Florida on another first down. Offset eye and two tight ends near side in the package here for DC. Handoff far side to say. This time he's met in the backfield for a loss. They tried to run on the weak side, but uh, they weren't having any of that. Uh, number 55 was able to shut that down. All, all outside linebacker Alfredo uh, Maisonet. I hope I'm saying that name right. So after the loss, they're going to go back under center. Synergy dumps it off far side to say, and he's knocked out right at the line of scrimmage dc offense we mentioned sebaz synergy at quarterback with kevin say and sue schragen at halfback then we have jeff banfield kingston ellington josh gill and kay marion all rookie wide receivers with denise sagilli and ziggy heronic at the tight end spots third and long here for the dragons after the first play went pretty well, two plays haven't gone as their way. Out wow. route, near side, tipped up in the air, an incomplete pass intended for Kay Marion. And they're going to have to punt this ball away here, Charles. Great defensive play by, look like Evan Carroll got the pass deflection there. DC lined up in a bunch formation and were didn't have anything open downfield. Kudos to the uh, secondary of, of Florida, but uh, now they're forced to punt, and uh, this isn't this isn't good when you put the ball back in Ron Cochran's hands again. So we'll see Ron Van Cleef here to punt this away for the first time today. Able to get that one off, and the returner's just going to let it bounce once. <laughs> Diving catch, but he lands in the end zone for a touchback, and so they'll start at the 20. That was a lot of effort to get the ball on the 20 yard line, but uh, you know, a lot of, <laughs> I'd still be, I'd still be in a ball in the end zone if I tried that. We mentioned a couple of quarterbacks and according to Nate Hall, it's official in the NFL, Drew Brees, it's officially announced their retirement. So definitely a big loss there, but we've got a couple of nice quarterbacks here in the SFL, not to mention here, Ron Cochran as he'll start this next drive. Pass, far side, wow. tipped up in the air. What a play there from the cornerback, Eric Gugger. Yeah, Gugger showed some hops there. I thought uh, Cochran was going to be able to loft it over him, but, uh, I mean, he, he was its like twice his body height up in the air to knock that ball down. It's outstanding athleticism. The rookie able to read the eight-season vet size that time. We'll see what they do here on second down. Quick drop, out route, near side. That one's hauled in and good for a gain of about seven by Varden Zarkov. Yeah, DC's going to have to put some pressure on uh, Ron Cochran. He, 
You can't let him uh, let the let the routes develop. You got to get in there and at least make him get rid of the ball early. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long day for the DC defense. I'll stack everybody here inside here on the Florida offensive line. Another quick out route near side. That one's hauled in and will be able to pick up first down yardage to the 32 yard line. Not a ton of yards there, but it shows you what Ron Cocker can do with just a fraction of the time. He uh, went through the entire progression, was able to dump it off there for a safe route there and first down. Good aerial view here of the Dungeon of Dracarys Coliseum here in Washington, D.C. As we're watching the Florida Storm take on the D.C. Dragons. Cochran over the middle, one-handed grab near midfield and they're gonna go right into the hurry up it worked wonders on the first drive we'll see if it works well from here on this one yeah wide open in the middle it looks it looks like someone might have missed their coverage cochran gets up to the line they're gonna catch the defender offside another pass over the middle that one is read pretty well by the defense but it's gonna go for not as it'll be a free five yards for the florida offense yeah, like I said earlier, that defensive line of D.C. has to get some pressure, not necessarily sacks, but at least get him to get rid of that ball quickly. And you can see how anxious the D.C. D line was to do that and they jumped a little bit early, need a little bit more discipline up there up front. You have 16 rookies on your team. It's going to take time to get used to life here in the SFL. They did really well last week, taken out, unfortunately for you, Charles, your Lone Star glory. And now we'll see if they can have a little bit more discipline, like he said, here on this next play. Play action. Out route, far side. That one's holed in on a nice toe drag catch. And immediately the challenge flag is coming out from DC. I think we may see this one coming back. I'm not sure. Didn't get a quite good look at it. Yeah, I was on the far side of the field. I didn't get a real good look at it either, but... Uh... I think that was a smart play to challenge this because I thought they were lining up to go hurry up. That was a good, I think that's good. Reminder here in the SFL, you only need one foot down to have a completed catch. And indeed they will rule that it was a catch. And so DC will lose a timeout. Well, again, the D.C. defense gets to settle in here and come up with the, the right package to stop Florida from getting points. So after the catch, we'll see the Florida offense again here on this first down. Another quick drop here from Cochran over the middle. That one's caught, and they're into the SFL red zone, hauled in there by E.J. Minson. Yeah, the Cochran is just slicing it up today. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty scary when he's on fire this early in the game. I mean, they got a, a they they came with a three down line front, um, and it didn't look like they put any extra pressure on the quarterback. Again, I think this is going to be a very long day if uh, they let him sit back there and uh, survey the field. He's 9 of 11 already here in this one and approaching the century mark here early in this first quarter. Hand out to the bullet up the middle, able to sneak off one tackler and then take down after a good gain of nine yards. From where I was sitting, I thought uh, Bullet was going to get brought down in the backfield, but uh, good effort, good patience and discipline to stay, uh, stay on the play and able to get some positive yards out of that. Coverage backs off into the end zone for the Dragons as the Storm will pack in almost everyone here tight in the line trying to go with a power run with only six men in the box for DC. Fake handoff to the fullback, handoff Boletsky on the far side. He's met in the backfield and taken down. A good good reaction by Rodney Panani. Uh, he was a little bit deep off the line but uh, showed his quick closing speed, read the play perfectly and uh, I actually thought that was going to be easy first down, but the D.C. defense proved me wrong. Third and one here for Florida. Five-step drop for Cochran. Pass near side. Wide open is his receiver, and that's Charlie Boletsky walking in. Touchdown, Florida. Yeah, great, uh, great drive by Florida. 
Looks like this is Boletsky's second receiving touchdown of the season. It just shows you how dangerous Cochran is. The pocket was uh, was breaking down. D.C. defense was doing what they needed to do, put some pressure on Cochran, but he's got so much patience and was able to wait to the last second to dump that ball off to Boletsky and get a touchdown. So we'll see Ethan Sneed on to attempt the extra point to make this a 10-0 ball game. High snap spot, kick is away, and it is good. It's 10-0 Florida Storm. If you're new to the SFL, the Simulation Football League combines traditional sports, esports, and a role-playing game into one. Team strategies are being executed in real time by our simulations as real-life players compete on the virtual gridiron. For more information about the SFL, visit our website at www.simulationfl.net. The SFL, we put the fan in fantasy. Rockefeller starts his return about two yards deep in his end zone, takes it upfield, and will get tackled maybe at the 22-yard line, make that a net positive of two yards. DC's got to stop the flooding here. I mean, that this constant drip from the Florida offense is putting points on the board. They got to respond here, walk away with at least three points. Kevin says numbers up to this point. Two carries, 26 yards. He's been a workhorse for this team. Had one nice run earlier and then haven't been able to get back to him since. We'll see if they give Florida a heavy dose of him here. That'll be a pass here on first down and Synergy unable to get away from the pressure. Taken down for a sack by Asandro Tamayo. Great job. Uh, great pressure up front. Just blew by the offensive lineman and it was right in his face. That's what we're seeing right here is exactly what the DC defense needs to do. They need to take note of that. Uh, and get the, that's what happens when you put pressure on the quarterback. Good things happen. He had a sack last week and he adds to his total here early in this one. Split backfield here for the Dragons here on second and 16. And now Kevin Say as he bounces out near side. It's a nice little hole to run. Will pick up half the yardage needed for a first down. And that's some really good blocking there by the D.C. Dragons offensive line. You know, again, showing the patience of, uh, of a rookie running back was able to just take it out to the outside. He could have taken that first gap, but that was closed down quickly. And the second gap was closed, took it all the way to the outside. Got a good positive run. Not a first down, but set him up good for third and eight. Quick slant route over the middle is caught and hauled in for a first down by the Dragons. Hauled in by Jeff Banfield. Yeah, that was a smart play by Shabazz. He had to get rid of that ball quickly and went to the his uh, number one route there off that slant. Banfield's leading the team in receiving yards coming in today with 524 right. yards. Just shows why he's such a versatile target for Shabazz Synergy. Down play here. It's going to be a run with Say. He tries to knock it around to the outside, but it's stopped at the line of scrimmage. Deontay Stoneville, Alex Dominguez, and Asandro Tamayero are the defensive line for Florida with Maverick Hughes and Eric Hammer at the linebacking spots. Ryan Davidson, Evan Carroll, Adam Jones make up the cornerbacks, and Andrew Francis, Ryan Tobin make up the safeties. Now for the Dragons, it'll be another run for Say, and he gets met in the backfield by a couple of Storm members, and it's a loss of two and setting up a third down. Uh, Tomayo was there waiting for him. Again, another attempt by D.C. to run it on that weak side, and so far Florida's showing how quick their reaction time is and, and the speed they have on the field there was able to shut it down again. Third and long here for the Dragons to come out with four wide and say in the backfield. Five-step drop for Synergy. Pass far side is deflected away. Great coverage there by Adam Jones, and it's fourth down. Yeah, great coverage by Adam Jones. DC came out in a quad look there and uh, thought they could take advantage from a personnel standpoint, but uh, very disciplined defense, Florida. You're not going to catch that secondary making a lot of mistakes, so you really got to uh, you really got to uh, put in those extra hours there to find a weakness of that secondary. 
back onto the field for his second punt is Ron Van Cleef. Once away, and Jeff Como stands about his 25, takes it up to the 30, and is brought down. So we've seen last this last series here for the Storm it resulted a touchdown on the arm of Ron Cochran. Charles, they go back with him, or do they give Charlie Bolecki a little a couple more looks here? Well, I think they you know keep some balance. I think balance is is the key. Um, you know, but Cochran is having a near perfect game. I mean, his completion percentage is up near 84 percent, and uh, QBR around 128. Back to pass here on first down. Dump off far side. That one's hauled in, and the receiver rumbles forward for about five yards. That's great when you can uh, average a good five yards on first down. Really puts the pressure on the defense. When you have uh, such dangerous wide receivers that Florida has, when they go deep, they're showing the skills of um, of Boletsky, and let's see if they start tossing it to Doyle out of the backfield as well with, with the fullback. Three wideouts here on second down. Another passing play as pressure comes up the middle and Cochran is just able to get a, the pass away. It falls incomplete. Clinton Hendershot came like a rocket from his linebacking spot. Yeah, great play by Hendershot. No, he, uh, he's showing what they need to do there. That was perfect execution and uh, just, just shut down the offense of Florida. The Coliseum starting to get a little rowdy here on third down, trying to boost their Dragons here to make the stop. Cochran back to pass again, over the middle. Flag on the play, and the pass falls incomplete. Did you see the line jump? I didn't, I didn't see anything. It'll be pass interference on Clint Hendershot. Made a spectacular play on the previous play. Gets called for P.I. this time. Yeah, that is uh, that is a little luck towards Florida's way because that was a perfectly defended uh, play by E.C. defense. Unfortunate they have to stay out there on the field. We'll see if that, ter that penalty comes back to bite them here later in this football game. This is a free first down for the Storm as Cochran goes to the gun with Doyle and Boletsky off to his left and right. Back to pass again. Over the middle. Caught. Great catch. And it's a good first down for the Storm. And they're into D.C. Dragon territory. Again, Cochran doesn't need a lot of time to get that playoff. I mean, he's got great route runners in his wide receiving core. And, uh, you know, the KG veteran back there is going to is going to find a, a wide receiver, you know, if, if you give him a millisecond back there in the backfield. I sound like a broken record, but, you know, that's that's what happens. Another passing play here for Florida on this first down. Nice little out route there will result in about four yards as the bullet picks up four. I'd love to see what their average is on four, on first down. It's got to be around between four to six yards, which is uh, which is outstanding. Dragons trying to make a stop here. It's second and six here for the Storm. Offset eye behind Cochran with two wide receivers near side. They'll run that direction, but Boletsky blown up in the backfield. Wow. Huge hit by John Gray. <laughs> Yeah, he uh, he shut that down. I mean, that was a that was a lot of uh, a lot of energy and emotion in that hit. Maybe showing a little frustration and taking it out on the poor running back. Well, it's not Gray. It's Gary. John Gary with the huge hit adds to his tackle for loss total. Quick drop here from Cochran here on third down. Pass out route is caught, and he's going to be short of the marker by about a yard. Yeah, that was a big, big stop by D.C. It looked like they were going all slant in the middle like they did on that last fourth down play. And uh, it, it uh, there's, there's something about that play. I don't I don't know if uh, Florida should go back to it. I mean, it's been uh, covered. So they've had it shown it twice. and It's been covered well both times by D.C. Well, this a 54 yard try, which we'll get to when we come back. As we've reached the end of the first quarter, the Storm are leading, trying to put up three more points. You're watching the SFL on Twitch.
Welcome back to Washington, D.C. as the Storm will try and attempt a long 54-yard try from the left hash. Sneed hit from 53 last week. We'll see if he can hit one from 54. Snap spots a little bit delayed. The kick is up, and it is good. It sneaks through, and he <laughs> remains perfect on the year with a tremendous kick. I didn't see who that player was on special teams. It looks like he – on D.C., it looks like he broke through early and was surprised he got – in there so so quickly and didn't know what to do with himself. It, it looks like he could have blocked that kick. I wonder what was going through his head. He might have been thinking, you know, uh, you know, he can't possibly hit it from 54, but it looked like he could probably hit it from about 60. Can Ethan <laughs> Sneed and they extend the lead to 13. And Kanye Rockefeller receives the kickoff in its own end zone and will take a knee. And so not a whole lot's been working for D.C. as of late here, Charles. Well, you know, Kevin Say, is, you know, he's averaging about six yards of carry, which isn't bad. Um, they've only thrown it to him once. I think if they start getting maybe him involved a little bit in the passing game, I think maybe things might open up for the wide receivers and tight ends. Trips near side here on first down to Synergy's back to pass. We'll dump it off to Kevin Say there on the far side. Oh. Able to break free of one tackler Whoa. and has a, a little bit of room to run. What wow. vision there by Kevin Say to get all the way <laughs> back to the line of scrimmage and then get a first down. That was a fantastic play by Say. I thought that was uh, actually going to start off as a nightmare, but he, uh, again, very patient for a rookie. Unbelievable. Didn't quit. <laughs> was able to find that lane along the sideline and get a first down. That could be a diva play right there of the week. Definitely. And you just watch Ziggy Heronic there, the tight end, coming around, making two blocks on the same guy to give Kevin Say just a little bit more run room to run. And it's a first down here for the Dragons. Seven men in the box here to counter the power offset eye. Handoff, say, far side. This time, maybe we'll pick up just about one yard before being brought down. Yeah, they're showing a lot of weak side runs there. And uh, so far, the Florida defense isn't having it. In this particular play, Evan Carroll led the charge with a great tackle of one-on-one uh, -on -one tackle in the backfield. So Sinji will come out here in the gun here on second down. Three wide receivers out there in the formation. He's back to pass, rolls to his left, fires on the comeback route near side. That one's hauled in by Jeff Banfield, and he's taken down after a gain of four by Adam Jones. Yeah, Synergy had to get rid of that ball. The, the pocket was breaking down. Didn't uh, do a lot of favors for Banfield as far as setting him up for a positive gain, but uh, Banfield did the best he could, and uh, we're looking at a third manageable. So here come the Dragons. Crucial third down upcoming for them. They've only converted on one of three attempts. We'll see if they can convert here on this one. Synergy back to pass. Pressure coming. Ooh. And he's wrapped up from behind for the second sack of the ball game for the Storm. Yeah, that was uh, that was Stoneville with that tackle. He was just – if Shabazz had – a millisecond more, there was a wide receiver on an out route that was uh, breaking free from his defender. He could have had a big gain there, but uh, the defense of Florida just shut that down. And Cleef gets the punt away here again. And a fair catch called for by Jeff Como at about the 27. And we'll see the storm come back out. Had a nice long 54-yard team record field goal last time out. They're just in the driver's seat right now, Charles. Yep, definitely in the driver's seat. The only one on offense who hasn't touched the ball yet is uh, Jeff Como. So let's see if maybe he gets a little involved here in this series. Bunch set far side as the veteran Cochran changes the play up at the line. And off Boletsky up the middle goes nowhere. Great stop by John Gary in the backfield. Great, another great stop by Gary, and he, he's uh, he's on fire today. I don't think they're going to be able to get many yards if they keep running his direction. Had a sack earlier and gets another tackle for a loss as he brings down Boletsky in the backfield. 
Play action. Pass over the middle is caught at the first down marker, and he's able to just barely get enough. Jeff Como, you, you said he didn't have any stats so far. There he is, picking up the first down. Yep, he's on the sheet officially now, and uh, that play right there just highlighted how quickly Com uh, Como, how quickly Cochran can get rid of the ball. I mean, it's got to be frustrating as a defensive coach if, if you know you don't have that much time to to get to him. Umbridge backs off here as it'll be a another play action pass far side that one's holding a nice little toe drag swag by EJ Minson unbelievable route running by the entire uh, receiving core of Florida I mean you're really helping out your <clears throat> excuse me your quarterback when he knows you're going to be in the right spot at the right time when he gets rid of that ball Time now just under eight minutes left to go here in the second quarter. It'll be hand up up the middle for Valetsky. Has a nice little hole and able to pick up the first down and get into Dragon territory. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice run up the middle. Started off with uh, some great blocking. Had a huge hole to go through, and you got that fullback running down there blocking as well. Love it. This Florida Storm offense is starting to have their way with the Dragons. The defense of DC needs to come together and make a stop here before things get too out of hand. And if again up the middle, going nowhere as he's folded up like a lawn chair in the backfield. Casey Husky, the out, outside linebacker, yeah, folded him up like, like a lawn chair and that's what they need. The DC Dragons need a spark. They're only down by 13, but uh, some uh, the, the switch is gonna have to be flipped here. I formation and two wideouts here on second and long. Dump off far side for Boletsky. Tries to shake off one and does before a couple more gang tackle him after a gain of six. The third and four against this DC defense, as I stated, they're going to have to get some pressure up the middle, maybe even do some bumping at the line there to throw those receivers off their route running. Maybe just outside a field goal range for Ethan Sneed at this point. Maybe a couple more yards will put him in it. Out route, far side, hauled in and just shy of the markers. Mark him maybe a yard short. And here comes the special teams unit for Florida. Yeah, that's not the typical route that Jeff Como runs. I mean, he, he normally has great field awareness for where that first down marker was. But on this play, he was just... Uh, you know, a little bit short, and now they're punting the ball. Marks to Grippa, able to get this one away. Nice high spiraling punt toward the corner, and it just bounces into the end zone for a touchback. That yeah, could have been disastrous for D.C. to start off on the one-yard line with that Florida defense, the way they're playing. Now uh, they get a little reprieve starting off on the 20. I'm really looking to see uh, what Shabazz Synergy can do managing this offense. Florida have been averaging about 10 yards per first down. Now just under that mark there, but now we'll see the Dragons offense come out here on their first first down play. Out route, near side, Kevin Say able to rumble forward for maybe about a, one yard before heading out of bounds. And so far the uh, on the defense, excuse me, on the offense for DC, haven't heard a lot from their tight ends. They've been blocking well when called, but, uh, you know, Sig Sigley and uh, Hronik have not uh, seen a lot of action so far in this first half. Three wideouts here on second and nine. Synergy back to pass. Wide open man on the far side. That one's caught and hauled in for a good gain of six, and it brings up third down. Yeah, great route running by Gill there. Uh, got enough separation from the, the defender, and uh, they're at a manageable third and three. And I think that type of route run against this Florida defense is something that they could capitalize, excuse me, DC can capitalize on. So third and short here for the Dragons. Need to convert on third down. They're only one of four. Handoff, near side, Kevin Say, stop short of the line to gain. And this Florida Storm offense is just taking no prisoners. 
Yeah, they're they're showing uh, got a couple long runs early by say, but uh, since then the DC, excuse me, <laughs> the Florida defense has really cut it down and not given them any opportunities. Oh, we got a flag on the play. That this might be offside or a false start. We'll get the call. Oh my, it's an yeah. encroachment by the Florida Storm, and it's a free first down for DC. Yeah, that's uh, you normally don't see the Florida defense do something like that. They're a very disciplined team, and uh, I'm sure Mighty's uh, going to be screaming at somebody on the sideline. And so after the penalty on fourth down, that gives them this free first down. Here comes the DC offense again. Handoff, say, going nowhere. Great penetration by the Florida defense. And that time it was Deontay Stoneville getting in the backfield. Yeah, Stoneville is, uh, we're hearing a lot of his name today because he's in the right place at the right time and he's executing perfectly. Offset eye here for the Dragons as Synergy goes back to pass, fires it near side, and that one is caught for a good gain of about five by Josh Gill. Yeah, DC was given a gift by the Florida defense here, and they really got to capitalize on this and put something on the board and starts off by at least getting a first down here on this third and six. They're... Oh, of one on third downs on this drive. They need a little bit more luck and a little bit more attention to detail here on this one. They'll run it with, say, up the middle. Shrugs off one, fights through two, and he's marked shy again. Another yard shy on that third down run. It's another fourth down upcoming for the Dragons. A yeah, great effort by, say, just, just inches short of the first down. Little, I'm a little puzzled why they're not putting one of their tight ends in on their uh, on this key play. No laundry on the field yet for on this one as the fair catch is made at the 26, and here come the Florida Storm offense to start another drive. Uh, so far, the Florida offense has been uh, has been flawless so far. No mistakes at all. I think it's uh this is a big test for dc before this half they gotta make florida make a mistake and then give them an opportunity to capitalize on it i want to thank greg soto and i want to thank greg soto for being one of our statisticians today is that that was the fourth punt in a row by the dc dragons is the first play here for the storm results in a first down Florida's attacking from all angles. Uh, Cochran is spreading the ball around. I think uh, everyone now is, has had an opportunity to touch the ball. And uh, right now, D.C. is scratching their heads, trying to figure out a way to keep this uh, storm offense from moving down the field. Bunch said near side here on this first down. Cochran over the middle and is met as he catches it, but not before it picks up nine. Like I said, I, their average on first down has got to be off the charts. They're, they're, sec, they're always at, uh, at least it appears to me, they're always at second and short. Split back power running formation here for the Storm. Hand off, oh. not in time as Cochran gets taken out before wow. he can even hand it off. Loss of two on the play. Wow. That Benny Butcher just butchered that front line. <laughs> a lot of power by that uh, defensive tackle. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Florida's up 13, DC zero. Two minutes to go. Florida has the football, and I'm Tyler Falk. He's Charles Dockerty with James Troll and Greg Soto on stats. We're just about ready to see a two-minute drill here run by the Florida Storm. Handoff up the middle for Charlie Valesky. He has a nice hole, and it'll get right up to midfield and a first down. Well, that's not a good sign there, Charles. That's John DeSantis, the rookie corner, 
down on the field there. We'll have to get an update for you when that becomes available. Yeah, definitely. And it was a great way for Florida to respond after that last play where we saw uh, the, the defensive tackle, number 99, Benny Butcher, just go in there and blow things up. Uh, they responded, ran it to the, through the same gap this time and got a first down. Looked like Varden Zarkov just put him through the turf, and I think that's what led to his arm or shoulder injury. We'll, we'll get an update for you as soon as we can. Shotgun formation here for the Storm here on first down. Cochran, quick dump off far side. He's struggling off one tackle, but not able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Taken down for a loss is Charlie Valetsky. Yeah, great coverage, great pursuit by the defense of, of D.C. Again, they got to capitalize here. The clock's ticking, and they, the window for them to get some points on the board is starting to close. Second 11 upcoming here for the Storm. And off, let's get up the middle. This time, gets the, picks up about two before Riley Coos and company take him down. Uh, Florida's up 13 to nothing, uh, clearly in the driver's seat. They've got an all-star punter. I mean, if, if it were me, I would just run it down as, as the clock as, as far as you can and just allow uh, Grippa to come in there and pin him deep. Also the line and quickly snap the football. Ron Cocker pass over the middle. That one's caught for a first down and more. Down to the 33, and they're going to turn on the Jets and go to the hurry-up offense. Or you can throw a perfect pass on a slant route. Now they're passing play. Now they're slant route. This time just barely out of the reach of his intended target. You can't go to – I mean, well, that D.C. definitely – can't go to rest on Florida because I, I actually thought they were going to try and run the clock out, but uh, they rolled the dice and, and throw out a deep slant route there. It'll make you pay if you're not uh, if you're not ready for anything against this Florida offense. Split back power run formation here on second down. They'll go to the pass here again. Nice little stop route there right at the line to gain. And Florida will pick up the first down and call a timeout to stop the clock with 43 seconds left to go in the half. Yeah, smart play call by uh, Stephen Bush to call that timeout now. They're in clearly in field goal territory here in the driver's seat. Now it's, uh, again, we're looking for D.C. to do something to stop this, this momentum of Florida. Ron Cochran already near the 200-yard mark on the day. Having a fantastic job throwing the football around. Five-step drop pass, near side, tipped over the air, and it's picked up by the Dragons! Good tip drill, and it's Kanye Rockefeller picking up the pick. That's what they needed. I mean, we've been saying it all half. They had to do something to flip the switch, and Kanye Rockefeller got that pass deflection and held on to it, and uh, you know, now we've got some time for D.C. to see if they have a little magic in their offense and walk away with some points. Not a lot of time, but you know what's been done in lesser time. Not a whole lot of time. Only two timeouts as they went with a challenge here early in the half that resulted in it not going their way. So they have two, two timeouts to work with with 37 seconds left. First down passing play here for the Dragons. Slant route caught. First down by Varden. Jeff Banfield. Hurry up offense all the way throughout the rest of this half for the Dragons. Quick drop, wow. synergy, taken down for a sack. Loss of four, and they have to hurry back up to the line. Haven't used any of their timeouts yet. Now they're passing play. Quick drop again, slant route again, short of the first Not down marker. Now. And they wow. finally do with three seconds, and we'll probably see a Hail Mary to close out the half. Yeah, I think they're one play late on that timeout. They're uh, they're in desper desperation time now with the Hail Mary. Those Hail Marys are hard to do against this defensive line of Florida. I mean, you, 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 they don't give you a lot of time to let those deep routes develop. Coming into the drive, Synergy only had about 28 yards passing, has already nearly doubled his total here on this drive alone. Or we're just going to see him chuck it downfield and send up a prayer at his own 45-yard line. Pressure coming from the outside. Passes away. Deep down the near side of the field. Diving catch. Oh, no. wow. He it out of his hands. <laughs> oh, that would have been spectacular. 
killer and a huge momentum boost, but it goes for not. We go to the half, 13 nothing, Charles. It's starting to kick off here late in this football game. I can tell you that defensive line of Florida, they were uh, they were licking their chops. They thought they had a shot at Shabazz, but uh, showed some veteran presence there and was able to get rid of the ball. And again, like you, like you said, I thought that was going to be a touchdown. Uh, clearly would have been a momentum changer, but uh, DC is really deep in the hole here and they have to show us something here coming out in the second half. Florida's defense has done a really good job getting into the backfield. Seven tackles for loss, three sacks, and they've shut down the DC Dragons on third down as the Dragons have only converted once on their seven attempts. So definitely need a change of game plans in the locker room, Charles. They yeah, definitely need to, they, I, I think the defense uh, of Florida is playing an outstanding game. Um, Shabazz Synergy on DC, he's not, he hasn't made a lot of mistakes. Uh, he's been, you know, he's 72% completion rating, uh, but the defense of Florida, they're not giving him anything on the medium routes or deep routes, just completely shutting it down. You can see there that historic moment for the Florida franchise, that 54 yarder from Ethan Sneed was just enough to get them the franchise record. So congratulations to Sneed. Uh, but Florida's offense has done enough, I'd say, to you know to get down the field, get some points on the field, haven't made too many mistakes. Cochran did throw a pick here at the end of the half. So definitely some life here from these Dragons and they're gonna need that coming out here. Yeah, to, to add to your point about the Florida offense, what they're showing me is um, they're not showing me any tendencies. I mean, they're mixing it up well. As we stated, Cochran is getting everyone on the offense involved. <clears throat> they're running the ball. They're passing the ball on all over the field. And so far, with, with the exception of that one interception, uh, D.C. hasn't had an answer. So hopefully at the halftime here, they can make some adjustments, come out, and we can see a different D.C. offense. Back to the nation's capital here in Washington, D.C. I'm Tyler Falk alongside Charles Doherty with James Troll and Gr Greg, the Cuban Missile Crisis Soto in the stats truck. Thank you, gentlemen, for all your hard work. And we're just about ready to get the second half underway. And Rockefeller starts his return at the goal line, has blockers in front of him, cuts it near side, and he's going to be marked down at the 21. So we saw them try and go to the pass there at the end of the half, and it seemed to be working a little bit better for him. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, the Florida the Florida defense isn't allowing them to get a sustained drive. I mean, they, they're not on the field very often. They've got four plays, five plays. Uh, you know, six or seven plays. Meanwhile, the ball goes to the Florida side and they just hold on to the ball and, and kill the clock. And off near side, say shoulders a man down at the 24 and picks up about four as we get an update on John DeSantis. He's got a twisted knee and he's out for the rest of the football game. Oh, wow. Well, they're, uh, that's, that's potentially something that can be uh, targeted, um, you know, Against their uh, against their nickel. Offset eye flipped around this time as Synergy's back to pass out route to a wide open receiver there on the far end, able to pick up a couple, but he's just shy of the first down marker. Is Josh Gill? As we said at the beginning of the game, I think that the Florida defense is going to allow those routes and. Uh, Shabazz can uh, can really take advantage of that like he did on this play. Same formation here on third and short. Here for the Dragons, trying to shake off their third down woes. Handoff safe. Far side has a hole, has the first down and more. Spins away from another, tries to get away from more, but he's taken down at midfield. Great run by Say. I mean, again, He's, he's got it for a rookie. I mean, he's playing like a five-year veteran out there. He's got a lot of patience, doesn't quit, keeps on churning after the first hit and able to put a couple extra yards on the books there. They need a spark. This D.C. offense needs a spark. Hopefully that run by Say did something to the D.C. offense. 
He's getting close to that century mark for rushing yards today. Having another outstanding day. DC on the midfield stripe here on this first down. Quick drop from Sinnery. Wow. He's wrapped up in the backfield for the fourth sack by the Florida Storm today. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I think that was uh, the inside linebacker, Eric Hammer, did a blitz up up the middle and uh, Shabazz looked like he was going to give a swing pass and just didn't expect that inside linebacker to just blow it up and get in his face. Second and 13. Good time to send the blitz there from Florida and now we'll see a second and long for the DC Dragons. Five step drop, Synergy trying to avoid pressure over the middle, deflected and picked off by the Storm. And the Storm will take over. Good pick by Ryan Davidson on the tip drill. He had great tip, uh, excuse me, great uh, interception by Davidson, but it started up front. The uh, DC offensive line has to do something about their, their blocking of their center and the guards because the defensive tackles are having their way on the, excuse me, on the Florida side are having their way. And Shabazz Synergy is not, does not have any time to uh, get a good pass off or to see uh, multiple route coverage. Three wide receivers here for the Storm here on first down. Ron Cochran, quick drop out route near side is ruled incomplete. Keep up with the SFL and its teams on social media at Simulation FL. Follow us on Twitter for weekly broadcast schedules to discover team content and stay up to date on SFL news. Let us know who your favorite team is or how you enjoy the broadcast each week with the hashtag, hashtag make an impact. Thank you for your support and your viewership. Second down now for the Florida Storm to come out in the ops in the split back. Go with Bletsky up the middle, going nowhere, taken down for a loss on the play by J. Bam Bam Cook. <laughs> what a great name, J. Bam Bam Cook. Um, this DC defense, uh, this is gonna be a huge test for them. Uh, their offense is not holding on to the ball very long, and uh, this means that uh, a lot of time on the field for these big, uh, big brutes on the field, and they're going to lose gas here in the fourth quarter. Up on the sideline is caught, but then falls out of bounds short of the marker. That's going to bring on the punting unit. Yeah, it was impressive defense by DC there. They had to get the ball back to their offense, and they, they just executed perfectly. The pressure up front was what they needed to do. And, uh, you know, now we get the ball back for Shabazz. Hopefully that offensive line can give him some protection and let something develop. The group is punt is away, and Kanye Rockefeller standing at about his 15-yard line, able to take it up for a couple of yards before he's eventually taken down. As you can see there on the top left of your screen, on the game going on, for the fans, Tulsa heading that one 17 to seven as London just tacked on a touchdown. Let's see if uh, DC can keep up with London and put some seven on the board. We'll have to do it as Shabazz Synergy trying to shake off the Yeps through an interception last time out. We'll see if he can put it together a good drive here this time. Quick drop for Synergy, dump off for Kevin Sane, near side, spins away from one, tries to put another man into the spin cycle, that time going nowhere, gets up three yards before being taken down. We've seen what uh, Say can do when he has the ball in the open field. I think it's smart to keep throwing those swing passes to him, see if he can get some magic to work there on the field, and that will open up the, med the medium route for Shabazz to give him another option. Storm crown in the box as Say gets the call again, spins away from another, spins away again, and will pick up the first down. This rookie is a lightning rod for this DC Dragons offense. Yeah, he's so exciting to watch. Again, uh, he looks like a five-year veteran out there running. The patience, the uh, athleticism, and you also got to give credit to the blocking up front, but uh, once Say gets past that offensive line, it's uh, you hold your breath waiting for what he's going to do. So here on this first down after the nice run by Kevin Say, you can see the stats there for Shenergy, about 80 yards passing. 
That's a far cry from his opposite number, Rod Cochran, over 200 yards. We'll see if he can add some more yards here on this drive. Handoff, Say, near side has a nice lane to run on the near side. will pick up five yards. Say is starting to, to get a pretty good game going here. He's averaging about six yards a carry, and now uh, he's closely approaching a 100-yard mark. Second down now for the Dragons, Florida. We're going to put eight men in the box to start to close in on Say. Yes, Say gets the call again, has a nice hole again, picks up another first down again. Kevin Say. Yeah, the smart. You got, I mean, he's the, uh, looks like he's the only guy on offense right now for DC that's hot. So you got to give the ball to the, you know, the, the hot player on the field and, uh, just ri ride that horse until he gets tired. He's the lone back in the backfield this time around with two tight ends near side of the screen. Synergy back to pass, dumps it off over the middle, picks up a good gain of about eight before being brought down is the tight end, Denise Sigilli. I think that's the first time a tight end was, uh, was targeted in this game. I think that's smart. If you're gonna, you know, try and get the the Florida defense guessing, you got to get those tight ends involved. Bunch sat near side here on second down for the Dragons. Synergy has to roll Dangerous. out. Wow. Dangerous pass is nearly picked off, but luckily for him, it falls incomplete. Yeah, Maverick Hughes there. <laughs> he had a shot of glory there to get that ball taken in the end zone. I think Shabazz should have maybe. Um, thrown it, dumped it off to uh, say on, on the uh, on the swing route, maybe would have ended up better than this one. Yeah. Trying to throw off your back foot is a relatively tough task. Only seen that from a handful of players, and Synergy can make that throw, just unable to do it this time, which brings up this third down play for the Dragons. Synergy back to pass in the gun over the middle. Nice caught, hauled in. That was a that was a crisp pass there by uh, by Synergy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice slant route off the uh, off the the line of scrimmage, and uh, good protection for uh, Shabazz. Hopefully, uh, we'll get some momentum building here and then get some points on the board. A little first down there to K. Marion as they are now inside Florida territory. Hand off outside to Kevin Say, and he's only going to be able to pick up one before he's brought down. That's one of the, the only plays this half where uh, they held <clears throat> Say to only a yard, and he's been running lights out so far. I'm waiting for him to break one long. Offset eye here on second down for the Dragons. And off to the weak side is Say. Yeah. Say gets a hole, gets a block down the field, gets He's another gone. block, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, <laughs> Dragons. They're on the board and chipping away at the lead. Wow. Well, you know, as I said, it was only a matter of time. I mean, he's been clearly heating up this half, and uh, the blocking for D.C. was really starting to settle in and starting to take advantage of uh, – of Florida, and this was uh, this was a play we've been waiting to see for DC. Now they're on the board; they've got some life in the game, and they're make, making this extra point. They're only down by six. Sagilly set the crucial block downfield, and it sets up a Kevin Say scamper to the end zone on that 30-yard scamper on that nine-play, 81-yard drive. And DC are starting to come back into this one. Man, that was that was needed. Tyler, I mean, <laughs> they had to get something on the board and they, they did it, ex executed perfectly. Snap spot, kick is up and Don Wilson's extra point is good and the lead has been cut down to six. The SFL broadcast team is looking to add new talent to our ranks of broadcasters. Applications are being accepted now to try out for either play-by-play -play or analyst broadcasting positions. No prior experience is required, just a love for the game and a desire to succeed. The application can be found on our website at simulationfl.net slash broadcasting.
Jeff Como starts his return at about the nine, takes it upfield and tries to get away from a couple of tacklers, but he's taken out at the 31. Yep, Florida's a veteran team here, and they, uh, you know, that uh, that one drive at DC, it's gonna. I think it's gonna take a little bit more uh, from DC to get to get them rattled. That's he's been fairly inactive in the running game here today. We'll see if they get him going. Indeed, they will here on the first play. Bolesky spins away from one and then gets tackled after a, maybe a gain of four, tackled by Riley Coos and company. Yeah, it's, you know, it's smart smart to get a run going up that first uh, first down. They got four yards, not bad. Uh, you know, I love it that uh, that Florida, is, they've, they're getting so many people involved in their offense. Second and six here for the Storm. It'll be another run for Boletsky, and this time met in the backfield for a loss of about one. Clint Hendershot gets in the backfield. Yeah, Hendershot, he's, he's been all over the place today. Uh, you know, you got to maybe think about running away from that guy. He, he is a beast, and he's, he's got a history of, uh, of bringing down run, runners. He's a team's leading tackler coming in today with 55 tackles. Cochran back to pass here on third down over the middle incomplete and the DC Dragons force a three and out impressive defense by DC I and mean, that was uh, one of the favorite plays for Florida is that slant route in the middle and uh, DC was planned for it obviously planned for it leading into this game and they just shut it down on that play you rarely see that play not executed by uh, by Florida So we'll see Mark Agrippa come on the field for the second time this half, more than he came on the field in the first half. Punts away, and Rockefeller's going to start his return at about the 22, able to take it up to about the 28-yard line. Let's see if they keep feeding the, the hot man, Kevin Say. I mean, he's uh, decided to put the whole offensive DC on his back, and... Uh, it's proved uh, pretty successful so far in the second half. The Dragons were able to get six on the last drive with a good running game plan by Kevin Say. We'll see what they do here this time around. Synergy back to pass, pass on the far side, tipped up in the air, intended for EJ Minson, and that one's going to fall incomplete. And they had that all over the all covered uh, from the start. Excuse me. They had two defenders back there, and it just had to get a perfect pass in there to get it into the wide receiver. Uh, I'm surprised they don't uh, they don't run out of that quads formation because I'm, I'm sure with a running back like Say, it would be pretty successful. Ace formation here for the Dragons on second down. And off up the middle for Say, picks up a couple before he, being wrapped up by his ankles after a gain of three. But here's an opportunity to keep the ball ball going for uh, DC. I guess I stated before you got to let that DC defense take a breather on the sideline. They can't get out here, get back on the field so soon. Or wide here on this third down. Synergy over the middle, tipped up in the air. Dangerous little ball there, but it falls incomplete, and that'll force the punting unit to come on the field here for the Dragons. Yeah, the key here is Van uh, Van Cleef has got to get a great punt off here. Can't give good field position to Florida. Uh, you, next thing you know, it they'll be in uh, at least in field goal range. Got to pin them deep and uh, let that DC defense, who's been playing really well here in the second half, uh, pin down the Florida Florida offense. Leaf is able to get this one away. Good little high spiraling punt. Como leveled at the 28 yard line. Fantastic tackle by the DC hands man. <laughs> he just, he lit him up. Uh, that was, uh, that was Vic Moore who had that great special teams play. They had, that's what they had to do. Pin him as deep as they possibly could. And now uh, put some pressure on Ron Cochran. Offset single back with three wide receivers here on first down for the Storm. 
Handoff, Boletsky tries to go up the middle. Matt at the line of scrimmage is able to fall forward for maybe a gain of one. Casey Husky in on the tackle. Yeah, it looks like Todd Dubstat was involved too. They both uh, had had it uh, read at the at the snap and shut it down. Second and nine now for the Storm on their own 29. Far formation on the field here for the Storm. Dump off far side as the re receiver able to pick up maybe about a good little dump off pass and it sets up a third and very manageable. Yeah, big third down here. They got to uh, they got to shut them down, get the ball back in the offense if they're going to you know stay in the game because Florida, you keep giving them the ball, they're eventually going to make you pay. Big third down and the dungeon on their feet, trying to corral and lead their team to victory here. Boletsky up the middle, first down for the Storm. Yep, keeping the ball rolling, keeping the clock ticking, and that's what Florida does to you. You gotta put some pressure on them, make them turn turnovers so far, excuse me, force turnovers. I think that's what uh, DC is gonna need to start focusing on. They'll go to the eye here on first down, probably looking to see a heavy dose of Boletsky here. They try and salt it away. Quick dump off to Boletsky on the near side, tries to get away from one tackler, but he's unable to do so. Visit the all-new SFL League website at www.simulationfl.net for info on how to create a player to join our community, the league, and the teams that play in it. Links to apparel, helmets, and a comprehensive history of the SFL. It's over 1,400 games, and it's thousands of players who have hit the virtual field. The SFL, we put the fan in fantasy. Cochran back to pass. Out route, far side, caught, and able to pick up first down yardage on the run after catch. They're just so dangerous on those sideline routes. I mean, they've practiced it to perfection. <laughs> they're dri they're driving. They got right now. DC's got to do got to do something to stop Florida in their tracks because they're looking at getting into uh, field goal range here pretty soon. DC is without one of their corners as John DeSantis went down with a knee injury. He'll be out for the rest of the game. So we'll see if that's, you know, why they're struggling. Deep ball down wow. the middle of the field. Caught. Steven Bush on back-to-back -back plays picks up big yardage. That was a huge catch by Steven Bush. Not the, not the most accurate pass out of Ron Cochran, but uh, he got his ninth catch this game, and uh, he's been uh, Mr. Reliable so far for, uh, for Ron Cochran. Has the most receiving yards today out of all the wide receivers for Florida. And he's done that all season long. Leads the team coming in today with 550. And that'll take us to the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up and chat. The Storm are leading here 13 to 7. You're watching the SFL on Twitch. Fourth quarter just about to begin. I'm Tyler Falk, he's Charles Doherty. And 11 more minutes left to go here in regulation as Boletsky gets the call up the middle, maybe picks up one, and he's met immediately by Bam Bam Cook. Yeah, another good tackle there by Bam Bam Cook. And uh, on the 30 yard line, DC's gonna, the DC defense is gonna have to do something to keep uh, this Florida team from, from moving down the field. Second and nine now for the Storm. Bunch set near side. Play action to Boletsky. Pressure coming up the middle, and that's a huge sack by the D.C. Dragons defense. Setting them all the way back to the 36-yard line is Benny Butcher. <laughs> the, the Butcher strikes again. Knocks, it knocks the uh, Florida offense on the very edge of field goal range here. So this third down, let's see if they can keep that momentum going. Shotgun formation trips far side of the formation. Pass deep down the middle, wide open receiver, and no. he's going to be stopped right before the end zone. Jeff <laughs> Como. You can't. <laughs> Jeff Como was relatively quiet in the first half, but that was a huge, huge reception by him. Great uh, pass, wide open down the down the middle, and almost put it in the end zone. I think the DC fans uh, breathed a sigh of relief that at least. 
and we're dealing with a uh, 19 to seven game here. Now they got a shot. It's 34 yards and sets him up with first and goal on the two. Two backs in the backfield, one wide receiver. We may see a run up the middle with Doyle or Boletsky. And up up the middle, indeed we do, and it's another touchdown for the Storm. Charlie Boletsky gets it on the score sheet and extends the lead back out to 13. Yeah, the defense of D.C. lined up in a nickel, so there was, there's a clear advantage by Florida, and they did the right thing and just run it up the gut because they, they were uh, outmanned in the middle there, and uh, Florida took advantage of it. So we'll see Ethan Sneed out to attempt the extra point. Snap spot, kick is up, and it is good. A 10-play, 73-yard drive culminates with a Charlie Boletsky two-yard run. Sector 6 is the official apparel provider of the Simulation Football League. Visit Sector6Apparel.com or our website at SimulationFL.net for replica team jerseys and completely customized jackets, flags, t-shirts, and more that help each team stand out from their opponents. Get the gear the fans wear with Sector 6 and the SFL. Rockefeller deep in his own end zone, just gonna take a knee, and that's where the DC Dragons will start their drive on their own 20. DC is gonna have to find something in the passing game. They've been relying on Say uh, to get those points on the board, and uh, as we get deeper into this fourth quarter, uh, they're gonna have to look for other options on that team to produce. High formation here on first down. Linebacker showing blitz. Now back up. Pass over the middle. Hold in. Great play call drawn up there from the Dragons. And it's Jeff Banfield with the huge reception. Yeah, and that was needed. I mean, they have to open up the field and uh, put some pressure on the defense of, of Florida because so far they weren't allowing anything in that part of the field. But uh, Banfield just slipped through, got a crisp route, and Shabazz hit him in stride. Offset eye here for the Dragons here on first down. Linebacker shifting over to the weak side, anticipating a run that way. And indeed, Kevin Say will get the call. He's able to get a nice little hole, picking up about four before he's taken down. Yeah, they've been going to that weak side a lot tonight. And at the beginning of the game, it uh, wasn't wasn't proving uh, much of a, much success. But here in the second half, I think that pounding is starting to maybe wear down the defense of Florida a little bit. Same formation here for the Dragons and same little shift there from the linebackers of Florida. And if again that side per se goes nowhere this time taken down by a, with a loss of one. And that was great pursuit by uh, Tomayo on, on that play. You don't see normally see a defensive end with that type of range on the field. He was running around out there like a linebacker. Big third down upcoming here for the Dragons. They come out with four wide, only 40% on third downs in this football game. Quick drop here from Cindy. Pass over the middle, right into the hands of the defender, but that one's going to fall incomplete. Adam Jones with the deflection. And they've gone a lot to that the quad routes on those key on those key downs, and uh, so far it hasn't been really showing a lot. And uh, I think they're at the point now that maybe they they should scrap that formation and bring, put something else out there. So here on fourth down, mid about midway through this fourth quarter, we'll see the punting unit on for DC, content to play the field position game and trust their defense to get a stop in order for them to come back out. And close the distance. Punts away from Van Cleef. Jeff Como calls for the fair catch of the 24 and hauls it in. Florida's back in the driver's seat again. And uh, pressure's been on D.C. defense. And they've been in that position a lot today. Um, and, you know, they've, especially that late in that first quarter, they, uh, they flipped the switch. And we're looking for that type of moment again, similar to that Kanye Rockefeller interception. That's what they're looking for. That's what they need on the defense side. 
Down in a bunch set near side. Here on first down with Boletsky in the backfield. Quick drop here from Cochran, able to dump it out far side to his receiver, and they will just run forward and pick up the first down. Man, <laughs> he uh, the, the receiver of Florida, Veridin Zarkov, he turned up the field a heck of a lot quicker than I would expect the tight end to be able to do. That shows a lot of athleticism. I haven't seen a lot of tape of that guy, but, man, I was impressed on that route. Able to shrug off Eric Gugger that time, and now they're on their own 41 on this first down play. Identical formation here for the Storm on this first down. Quick two-step drop. Identical out route there to Zarkov, and identical first down. Why not? I mean, that's a, he's, a, he's a dangerous tight end there. He's been, uh, I'm surprised they haven't gone to him earlier in the game. Take a look at those passing numbers that quickly crossed our screen. Over 300 yards from Ron Cochran, and Synergy has been a little bit unfortunate. Just over 100 yards. That just tells you the main story of this football game. Cochran has had his way with this D.C. secondary. Play action for the Storm. Pass over the middle on the slant route is caught, and Mark may be a book spine shy of the first down. Yeah, the Doyles out there, I, I like like when they get the fullback involved in that play right there just highlights the discipline that uh, the Florida offense has. I mean, every, every player ran their routes or their assignments perfectly. Another play action for the Storm. Deep on down the middle, caught at the 10. And the Storm are right back into the red zone. It's Jeff Coma with the reception. He has certainly come alive in the second half. He definitely has. I mean, he's averaging close to 17 yards a catch, and most of that has been in the second half. And uh, when, excuse me, when Bush, who looked, appears to be Cochran's favorite target, is taken uh, into coverage, Como normally is wide open, and he's uh, been thrown to four times, and he's caught every time it's been thrown to him. First and 10 with the first down being right at the goal line. So this is... An unofficial first and goal here for the Storm. Out route, far side for Boletsky. He shrugs off one and then maybe picks up one yard. Here we go. Again, the pressure's on D.C. defense. I mean, they've done it before, caused a turnover, and uh, now's the perfect time, or this is the time that D.C. needs to have something good happen for them. Another passing play, another dump off to Bletsky near side, trying to hunt for that end zone, is taken down three yards shy by David Leathers. Plenty of options for Florida here on this third and goal. I mean, they can take the conservative route and walk away with three points on the board, um, you know, or they can uh, roll the dice and try and put it in the end zone here. Flip back formation here on third and short. And off up the middle again. The defense reads it perfectly this time, taking Boletsky down in the backfield for a loss. A great defense by DC. Uh, they're going to walk away with uh, getting a field goal against them, but uh, could have been a lot worse. They dug in when they needed to, and uh, now we, let's see what DC can do when they get the ball back. That offense with Shabazz Synergy, uh, he hasn't been able to push it down the field very often today. They've been relying on save, and now let's see who else can step up on that offense. He hits hit from 54 today, and this time he just chips it in at 22 yards, extending the lead for the Florida Storm. Week 9 begins next Saturday on Next Level Sports. D.C. visits London in a critical North Division clash before we head to the South Division for a rematch between Mexico City and Charles's Lone Star. In an other league action, Denver visits Atlanta and Baltimore tra travels to Queen City. Coverage starts at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. The SFL on Next Level Sports. Football season is only just beginning. Well, they are uh, the D.C. offense. They're at do or die here. Only four and a half minutes left on the clock. You can't walk away from this drive without something on the board. But more than likely, the easiest way to do it if your DC would pick up two touchdowns and then immediately convert on two two-point tries, 
which is hard enough as it is. We'll see if they can get part A done, which is getting in the end zone here on this drive. All slants pattern here for the Dragons. It'll pick up the first down to the 35, and they'll hustle back up to the line. Haven't seen a lot of that this formation today. That's smart of them to go in the hurry up here. Different route concept run, but another pass over the middle is hauled in for more first down yards. That's Kate Marion, and she'll pick up the first down. Third first down in a row here for the Dragons. Synergy calling orders. Pass over the middle again will pick up about six yards, and they'll hurry back up to the line again. Fourth pass in a row, pass near side is caught wow. somehow by Jeff Benfield, and they're into the red zone. That's smart. They got to keep rolling with this play because so far Florida doesn't have an answer for it. He's close to 100 yards receiving on the day. Again, passing play, pressure coming, synergy unable to escape the pressure taken down at the line of scrimmage. And the DC Dragons elect to hurry back up to the line again. I think that's smart. I mean, even though they got the sack, you gotta, you still have Florida a little bit on their heels here. Pressure coming again, sacked again is Synergy. Back at the 18 yard line. Might want to call a timeout to get some rest for your players. Another passing play, pass over the middle. Hauls in, spinning back up field. And he, they're short of the first down marker. K. Marion with the huge reception, just not enough to punch it through. Yeah, that was, uh, that was an impressive drive, but the Florida right. defense dug their heels in uh, deep in their, uh, in their own territory, and now we've got a big fourth down for D.C. Trying to be a little bit aggressive here late in this football game with just over two minutes to go. Synergy, back to pass, fires into the end zone, and it's caught by Jeff Panfield! Touchdown, Dragons! A pr impressive drive. They, they needed to answer and put some points on the board, and they did just that. Drove down the field at uh, 80 yards, and uh, Jeff Banfield walked away with his third touchdown reception of the year. Over 100 yards for Jeff Banfield and picks up the TD there. Now we'll see if they try and go for two to make it a one-score game. Indeed they will. They'll flip the formation. Three wide outs and a trips pattern to the left. One receiver near side. It's open. Past corner. Tip oh. and incomplete in and out of the receiver's hands. And it remains a 10-point ball game. It's just a second too late. He uh, he had him and uh, he should have brought that ball in for the two points. That's unfortunate. Carl Scott, the fifth string wide receiver, just unable to haul it in. And so the Dragons will try and attempt an onside kick to, to get the ball back. Kicks away, and that one's hauled in by the hand team of Florida, making a nice little juke move trying to get a couple more yards. But Florida will take over on the 41 yard line. Yeah, we would have been looking at a different game if they would have had that two-point convert conversion. Uh, but still, uh, they're looking at uh, a lot of – they're at the miracle point right now where, where D.C. needs to have a couple miracles fall their way in order for them to get this game. Need to see the defense make a couple stops here in order to force it. Handoff, let's see up the middle. Should see a good number of carries for him here to end out this football game. Picks up about three on that one. Yeah, very smart. Just run it out, get it down to the two-minute warning, and, uh, you know, just uh, walk away with a W. So as Florida likes to let the time tick down closer and closer to the two-minute warning, we should see them just go ahead and let the clock run. And there it is, the whistle for the two minute warning. Two minutes left to go here in Washington, D.C. You're watching the SFL on Twitch. Two minutes to go. Florida in the driver's seat, will head by 10. 
And Cochran's gonna throw here on second down. He'll, it'll be a dump off to Boletsky. Tries to spin forward for the first down, and he's leveled after he gets it up to about the 33. And DC is gonna have to call another timeout. Yeah, DC got to call timeout here, and now they're at the point right now where, uh, again, we're, we're, they need to have some sort of <laughs> some sort of miracle happen and get that ball back in their hands. Limiting Florida to a field goal is an end-all, be-all, but it would certainly make the drive a little bit harder for DC, and they're going to come up with a huge stop on third down. Stopping him right at the 32. They'll have to take another timeout but they do have a little bit of life here at the end of this football game. Yeah, they definitely do. And I think uh, one, of, one of the uh, the, the benefits of having you know, Ethan Sneed out there is he can, uh, it, it's in his range. And, uh, you know, they've got uh, Florida's one of the few teams that has a contract punter and kicker. And I think in games like this, it uh, really is, is quite the luxury. 49-yard attempt here on the left hash for Sneed. Snap, spot, kick is away, and it is good from 49. Perfect on the day, perfect on the season, and extends the lead out to 13. Yeah, huge kick by Sneed. I mean, he's got a he's got a very strong leg, and you know, normally kickers that strong, their accuracy starts accuracy starts to uh, fade a little bit when they start getting out in the 50 plus range. But not Sneed. He is he's deadly. away from Sneed and Rockefeller just going to take this one down in the end zone and now it's crunch time here Charles down by two scores with a minute 46 left to go and one timeout the drive needs to be perfect definitely and you know they showed they can do it on that last possession and uh it's uh, it all starts out with what play they start here because they're going to be we're going to be seeing a lot of it so let's hope they pick the right formation Synergy will come out under center with three wide receivers. Five-step drop, pass over the middle intended for Marion, and she's unable to haul that one in. Week nine next Sunday on For the Fans begins with Fort Worth trying to hold off Houston in the South Division before Vancouver heads back to Florida to do battle th this time with the Florida Storm. St. Louis hosts Tulsa, and San Diego visits Charleston in other league action around the league. Coverage starts at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. The SFL on For the Fans football season is only just beginning. So second down after the incompletion on first down. Bunch set far side. A minute 42 left to go in regulation. Quick drop for Synergy. Out route far side is hauled in and they're gonna be tackled inside inside the bounds so clock is going to stop looks like he was just out of bounds just barely yeah that was heads up play by uh by Mar marlon to get out of bounds and stop the clock so a minute 38 left to go here in regulation Synergy going to stand all by himself there in the backfield with trips to his left and Banfield to his right. Back to pass. Slant pattern over the middle. That's hauled in for a first down, but time's going to continue to tick, and they're going to have to hurry back up to the line. Yeah, this, I think this is the right formation for them to be in, so it's looking good so far for D.C. All down the middle and 10 for Banfield. He's got it, and they're going to call their final timeout with a minute 22 left to go. I like to see him bring that same formation out. That's clearly the, their uh, best formation today from a passing standpoint. At uh, able, uh, gun straight. They've been able to slice and dice their way down the field when they have been in that formation. You're right, Charles. We'll see if they go back to it here on this first down. Yeah, it's smart because they have a couple different plays in that set, so they're not locked into one, but it looks like they're doing something different here. Large set far side. Synergy's under center, but stands up in the pocket. Quick pass, out route near side. That's hauled in by, by the receiver. He's to be just short of the line to gain, and he's tackled out of bounds, tackled near the out of bounds marker. Another passing play, another quick drop. Pass over mm. the middle, off the helmet. 
of the defender. That's Eric Hammer, and it sets up third down. Yeah, I think that's uh, that actually could have turned out to be a good good uh, situation for DC to be able to put in a new formation here because when they're in that bunch set, um, they really need to have wide receivers that are fast and able to get that route out quickly. And the defensive line of Florida is not giving that quarterback any time for the play to develop. Just over a minute left to go here in the fourth quarter. Quick drop from Synergy, out route far side. That's hauled in for first down yardage. And more importantly, he gets tackled out of bounds, which stops the clock. Yeah, very, very smart play. Had a, had a uh, had enough time for him to get rid of the ball, and uh, it's getting harder and harder for them as they get closer here for to the end zone. That uh, defense of Florida, it's uh, they they seem to to turn it on right when they need to. So let let's see what DC can do. Crunch time coming now for both the Dragons and the Storm. Storm needing to hold them off here in the last minute. Shotgun formation, synergy all alone. Trips near side. Back to pass over the middle, right into wow. the hands of the defender, and that should just about seal this one up. Yeah, let, let's see who uh, who caught that one. That was Evan Carroll. I think that's his uh, second interception. Is not maybe yeah, his second interception of the day, I believe. And that did shut it down for DC. I mean, it, maybe you know one thing they learned. Maybe in future games they could use that formation again because. It, they were really able to move it down the field. It's unfortunate it ended, ended this way with an interception. I want to welcome everyone joining us from For the Fans as you guys watch Tulsa take down London 17-13 to here in this football game here in Washington, D.C. Florida is going to win this football game, currently leading 26-13, to and it's been on the arm of Ron Cochran. Yeah, definitely. He was, uh, he was the surgeon today. Uh, he threw it 42 times, and he hit everyone that uh, has a contract on offense. Surprised he hasn't thrown it to – well, they don't have a contract lineman, but I'm, he would have thrown it to him if, if he could have. And so we'll see the storm come out in the favorite play in every head coach's playbook. It's the victory formation. Conker take a knee, and that will just about do it for – this football game, as we'll see triple zeros here in a second here, Charles. And we just mentioned Ron Cochran, over 350 yards passing, one touchdown, one interception. And he tried to find pretty much everybody. Stephen Bush was pretty active there in the first half, and it all encapsulated in the second half with Jeff Como coming off and having a solid second half. The three things that really stood out to me on the Florida side is you, did, you mentioned Ron Cochran. He threw it a lot, 42 times, but he got everyone involved, which was great. 83% completion, um, excuse me, 83 completion percentage. But what else stood out to me is the defensive line of Florida. They had five sacks against Shabazz Synergy. Didn't let him get into any type of rhythm today. He also got a sack out of uh, the, the inside linebacker, Hammer. So they kept Shabazz Synergy on his, on his feet and uh, not able to, to really settle in at all on offense. But also, you can't forget the uh, play of Ethan Sneed kicking 4-4. Four of four. He put 12 points on the board and uh, was crucial in the success of Florida as well. They finished the day with that defense picking off Synergy for the third time. Third time today, so definitely a fantastic job all around from their defense. And let's just talk about D.C. for a little bit. Came off their first win after rejoining the league here this season last week against unfortunately for you Charles your Lone Star Glory unable to come away and pick up the win but there were some definitely some bright spots here from this DC Dragon team especially Kevin Say getting close to 150 rushing yards and one touchdown today yeah they've got you know they've got a star in Say uh, and they also have some solid players uh, on the on the defensive side that uh that really stepped up today and but it doesn't get doesn't get any easier for DC they've got three home excuse me away games in a row um so you know if, if they thought today was tough it, it's only going to get tougher getting in that uh airplane and traveling they go to london next week uh going across the pond so uh, they definitely need to get their a game going we see watch there that's the game ending highlight there to evan carroll able to just pick it off read synergy's eyes and come down with the pick to close out this football game. And we'll see who the pundits have picked for the player of the game. It'll be Ron Cocker with his outstanding day today. 
359 yards, one touchdown, and just over 100 on the QBR. For Charles Doherty, Greg Soto, and <laughs> James Troll, I've been Tyler Fall. We'll get you right back to the post-game wrap-up after a word from our sponsors, but from all of us here in D.C., good morning, good afternoon, and good night.